Hi there, this is Jeremiah aka Off to Battle. This is my second ever reaction video and I'm doing the Immortal Empire's release trailer from Creative Assembly. So I'll just start running it and I will be pausing through this one. <laughs> I didn't need to the last one. So we immediately see... Um, this is good stuff because we get the pillars of uh, the towers, we get a sense of perspective, we get a training square sort of place we have storm clouds gather storm clouds gather there's orders are beset. there's no better way to set the tone than have Carl France set it and here we see various scenes of what's going on which is nothing good in the world by evil. and every time they switch a scene like this you see that the color grading reflects the vast difference in the color backgrounds of the maps of the settings in the world things like that so it's not only game appropriate it's just good art which i am a big fan of both mundane and immortal this too is just the sense of scale that it provides is incredible and that's exactly what you want for a game that's about a sense of scale how long can we a sense of ruination Destruction. We must invasion. An alliance. We either die alone or survive together. I concur. And if that was a manga, I'd be putting a sound effect for the staff coming down. Uh, so that's very good. And you see that the lip syncing is dead on. Uh, so it's not just we have character models moving around and speech in the background. They're actually talking. So that's very important for our immersion. It's extra effort put in. It's extra devotion to the material. They really went out all up for this. And I am a big fan of that. Not just the fact that it turned out this well, but the fact that they put in the effort. This threat. Again, drastic change in color background, color grading. Is beyond any of us. Malekith. With the Azor's guidance. This we... is just another Elgate's game. I see many leaders here, but you even speak for your people. And uh, besides the whole thing about, yes, this is just Teclas. It's not Tyrion, it's not the Phoenix King. But uh, we get the sense of scale diplomatically. We get the sense of scale with the amounts of characters from all these factions that should be working together, but they're not exactly working together because... <laughs> uh, there are a lot of egos and agendas and a lot of history between them. That's not High good. King, this is not the time for short-sightedness. Short? And what people have commented on in terms of the lore is, would Teclas really say that? And the answer is yes. Oh, yes. He can't help himself. He has to say it. It's just a physical compulsion. <laughs> and yes, Thorgrim is going to take it that way because it was meant that way, subconsciously, if nothing else. So, they are all being in character. It's telling us that these are the characters, this is the way that they think, that they act and speak and interact with one another, and therefore, it's not easy for them to come together, is it? There'll be no alliance with Adams while I'm High King. Only lots of arguing, lots of fractious debate. And you see the bad guys are not exactly as fractious because you have this guy uh, establishing some order by, uh, you know, cracking heads. Again, the vast color differences uh, from one scene to the next. And people said this is pretty iconic. I do agree. Uh, this is great. <laughs> My boy Kairos, as I would, some people would say. I don't usually talk about that. Uh, this is a great scene. It's definitely showing uh, that uh, he's bringing a different brand of chaos, a different flavor. That is uh, purple and pink colored, and that's totally fine. The statue, yeah. <laughs> the statue is looking a lot pinker than it used to. Yes, Wolf Rip, yeah. People leaving. 
people coming. The Warhammer S gavel. We must not be blinded by our own need for power. And this is just great. This is just tremendous. You can't complain. This is just wonderful scenery. This is and Tyrion doing Tyrion things from Brindle. That that was brutal. That was brutal, dude. Scene after scene, all these changes in scenery and color, and, and and this is just pure beauty. You have to just appreciate it for what it is. Make the right one. And here we have the big team up. Even just the surrounding background here, the Stygian horrors, uh, however you're supposed to say that. The effort put into this is very high. The effort of dedication, the effort of fidelity to the material, to the art, to also the game, as I said, the backgrounds of the maps are very different, and that's reflected in the color choices made, scene to scene to scene. Uh, so the whole thing is, I personally think of this as one of the better trailers I've seen in my life. It is effective, it is great at conveying the characters, the stakes, the sense of scale, uh, the interpersonal conflicts, and the racial and faction conflicts, and also that the bad guys could be conflicted, but actually they're working together way more than you would like them to because they're bad guys here. That's what they do here. So, um, very good, it establishes what this game should be all about lofty standards that I hope that the game will be meeting in the future. And uh, hey, I do content for this game, I like it. I hope that you will like it too, if you haven't been playing, or if you have been playing, I hope that it gets better for you, and for me, and for everybody. Uh, so this has been my honest reaction. Uh, this is Off to Battle, signing off, and you take care. Have fun.